everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to have a little fun talking about some of the competitors I see and I'm going to exaggerate it just a little bit for entertainment purposes only. Let's get started. Oh, there he goes, Mr. IRS himself, Cash is King. I said that guy ain't reported to the IRS since the Reagan administration. And what about the guys that get out of there and they blow all the lawn clippings out in the street? I don't understand that for the life of me. Uh, I know it does not look good, but if all the, the clippings are all over the driveway and the sidewalk, to me, it just makes sense. You blow them back in the yard. You don't just blow them out in the street and then get back in your truck and leave. If that bothers you, uh, if that doesn't bother you, I, I don't I don't understand. To me, that's just lack of professionalism. Oh, there he goes, Mr. Fake Online Google Review. Business growth strategy, create a fake Google profile and go around and leave negative reviews for all your competitors. Really appreciate that, buddy. Legitimate growth strategy there. Yeah, you earn the respect of all your competitors. Yeah, starting at noon, it'd be done by 12.30. Three yards later. You yeah, got eight guys with him, go out there and mow two yards. I remember seeing a guy and he would be out there weed eating with one hand, and the other hand he'd have a cigarette, <laughs> and he's holding his cigarette. And then if he needed both hands, he'd put a cigarette in the mouth, it'd be bounce up and down, and he's out there trying to weed eat, and then he'd go back to one hand weed eating, take a cigarette, I just, you know, it's not that smoking or not smoking, but to me that just comes off as very unprofessional. I do remember at one point in time seeing a guy, and he ran his lawn care business out of a minivan. And he had a, a nice walker mower, and he was pulling in a trailer with a minivan. And I think he actually did pretty good, but I, I don't know about the uh, minivan lawns, if that's exactly the way I want to go. There he goes. Yeah, the one that missed his son's birthday. Now, I'm not talking about his eighth birthday, his ninth birthday. I'm talking about his birthday. Day, the day he was born. Text his wife said, Hey, uh, sweetheart, I just got a few more yards to do. I'll get there when I can. And uh, yeah, I, I was just thinking, I said, Yeah, and I bet when his son graduates high school, he's going to get an envelope. He opened up, it's going to be a, a Junior's Mowing LLC. Done formed him an LLC with a state, and here's a $500 gift certificate to the local small engine repair shop. The gift that keeps on giving. And Mr. Selfie. Everything he does, got to stop and take a selfie and post it on Instagram. I trimmed the shrub, selfie. Mow the grass, selfie. Edge the sidewalk, selfie. Look at me, I'm holding the weeder, selfie. Pumping gas, selfie. I do remember one guy, too, I, I would see him from time to time, and he was, I'm going to say he was 50, but his skin looked like he was about 80. And it, I mean, it looked like just the texture of a pack of beef jerky. I mean, and he's so wrinkled up like a Chinese Sharpe dog, you know, and I think he did, you know, no sunscreen, no hat, just out there day after day, just baking in the sun. I'm, I'm just too pale skinned for that. I got to wear a big hat and sunscreen, everything, try to keep the, the sun off of me. You know, the truth is, lawn care people in my opinion are getting more professional and taking uh taking their businesses more serious and i think that's a good thing uh, but there's still so many out there that it's kind of easy to make fun of i'm sure some of you got some comments you can uh, leave below uh, but you know if you're gonna if you're gonna really take your business serious and you want to grow to me it has a lot to do with your image your your truck you have your mowers your way you dress your your website the way you carry yourself everything of uh, the business cards because if you do that you're gonna have a better opportunity of getting the higher end customers which I believe you need to be able to be successful long term yeah if you just get out there on the weekend and just start mowing and you wanna drive a minivan or or have a seven hundred dollar zero turn mower that is unreliable we're always canceling because of repairs I mean you can make a little bit of money okay but to me to to attract the better clientele uh, it, it revolves a lot about your image and I, I personally wouldn't want somebody out there weed eating with one hand uh, holding their cigarette in the other hand or pulling up in a minivan or blowing all the grass clippings out in the street or you know some of these things that are not that far-fetched uh, some of these I exaggerated made up but uh, anyway let's keep our professionalism up and uh, it, it's the way to be successful, in my opinion. If you're wanting to start a lawn business, you can go to LawnCareLife.com. I do a lot of weed control, fertilization. There's resources for you there. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, I, I've got another one pop up on the screen. A few that I did a couple weeks ago about stereotypes. I've got a few others in mind that I might do as well. Talk to you guys later. Bye.